Hi guys, Harry here. Welcome to Scrap Science. So, hello again. Um, last video, uh, we made this sample of bromine. I mean, you can't really see it. I stored it overnight in this uh, Ziploc bag with a bunch of um, sodium metabisulfite just in the bag with it, just to prevent any bromine vapors from escaping because having a look at the top of that uh, container, you can really see like the orange coloring, even like it's discolored that clip a little bit. So obviously a bit of bromine has actually escaped. Uh, but anyway, uh, what we're gonna do today is try to seal uh, that bromine in ampules that we're gonna make from test tubes. So hopefully this will be a short video where I guess you just get to watch me make ampules really badly. Now the first thing we want to do is check whether or not uh, the blowtorch can actually soften uh, the glass of these test tubes. Uh, so I'll go ahead and turn on the torch and then see if we can just kind of soften the end of one of these test tubes with the flame. As you can see, uh, we definitely managed to kind of melt the end of that um, test tube. You can see I've kind of thinned uh, this little section here. Uh, that's so that that can be the point where we seal the ampule later. So what I'll do now is just go ahead and do the same for this test tube. Uh, we'll add the bromine into one of these and then see if we can seal it off. So now the job is to, that I've got this open, try to get the uh, the pipette and try to pipette the bromine uh, into the ampules and then we should be able to seal them. Uh, I won't film me putting the bromine into the ampules because I will need both hands for that. Well that went pretty easily. Uh, the bromine does pretty much all fit into this one ampule so uh, there we go. Um, we just have to do it with one ampule and then if it doesn't work you know we've got a spare. Uh, so once again, uh, we'll get this torch burning and see if we can seal off that neck. While we're waiting for that to cool down, I'll just go ahead and neutralize the rest of the bromine waste, or the water that was on top of the bromine when we were storing it. And the last thing we gotta do with the ampule is uh, check if this little point up the top uh, has any leaks. And the easiest way to do that, especially with bromine, is just to turn it upside down because if there are any holes whatsoever in that little piece, uh, the bromine will definitely find its way out. Alrighty, that's the second attempt done, and uh, looking at it, I mean it looks alright, better than last time. I can't get it to focus, there we are. Um, hopefully that is sealed, but you know, we'll have to wait for it to cool down, and then we'll check. Alrighty, let's uh, test it again. That's looking promising. Excellent. Yep. Just doing this, I can feel just how heavy the bromine is because it is three times as heavy as water. You can really feel that sloshing it around like this. So, very cool. You'll notice that the, uh, the bromine sticks to the glass quite considerably and there's even a tiny little bit of water on top of the bromine, but you know, I don't have the, the concentrated sulfuric acid to get rid of that and I don't really care. I mean, this is good enough for me. I'm proud of this bromine. But anyway, uh, there we have it. A nice quick video about making well, an alright ampule of elemental bromine. See you later.